What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Today I'm gonna be doing a review of the 2013 Nissan Altima. Now there's been lots of buzz about this vehicle because it's been totally redesigned. Why am I just standing here? Let's go take a look. On a recent trip to Louisiana, I got an opportunity to test drive the newly designed, reimagined Nissan Altima. Now let's see how the vehicle performed in the bayou. Okay, how many YouTube channels give you car reviews and the bayou? Come on now, come on! The new Altima sheds its corporate exterior for a more sculpted, streamlined, and contemporary look. It looks agile, it looks aggressive, and it looks ready to go. And the go? Well, it's brought to you by the vehicle's peppy 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine that produces 182 horsepower with 180 foot-pounds of torque. And you'll also be able to go farther with good fuel economy numbers of 27 city and 38 highway MPG. Okay, now I'm going to talk about what ultimately is most important to driving experience. Now I'm going to have to say I'm really enjoying driving this vehicle. But the first thing that jumped out at me was the power. Getting on the highway, being competitive out there, passing people, just having a fun joyride. You'll get the thrill in this vehicle. You know, it's like a little mini Maxima. It has an aggressive feel to it. The steering is confident and secure. Now it's got a sporty or firm suspension. So you're gonna feel those imperfections in the road, those potholes. But the secure, responsive feel of the steering and the overall balance of the vehicle is very nice. Overall, this is a fun vehicle to drive. I interrupt this review of the 2013 Nissan Altima for a nature break. I'm in the bayou, y'all. Looking at some nature, trying to find maybe a gator or two. Let's go. Now I'm a big fan of the show Swamp People, so I'm out here in the bayou looking for my man Troy, or a couple of gators, some nature, but I'm not having too much luck. All I'm finding is sweat. Now you've heard of a dry heat? Well, this is not. I hear a baby gator calling back there. So I'm gonna go over and investigate. I'm gonna wade out into the swamp and check it out. <laughs> Right outside of Lafayette, Louisiana, I visited the Lake Martin Bird Sanctuary, where I was able to get some great nature shots, including this one of my new friend, Herman, a three and a half foot baby gator. Right now, Herman's looking pretty content and almost cuddly, but I probably wouldn't get this close to him in a few years. All right, enough sightseeing. I better get back to the review. They've done a nice job on the interior of the new Altima. Now while the design is not overwhelming, it's fresh and contemporary. I love the keyless entry and ignition and the digital information screen in the instrument cluster. Now as with most Nissans, it's well built. Fit and finish is very, very good. And it has nice supportive seating in the front as well as the rear. Now I'm an average guy about 5'9 and there's ample leg and headroom in the back. And it has a nice roomy and comfortable trunk for lots of cargo or even a clown or two. Overall, they've done a great job on the interior. It's light, it's airy, it has a personality. It's a nice upgrade from last year's model. I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs up. So there you have it, another honest auto review from an average guy. If you're in the market for a mid-size sedan that boasts value, practicality, performance, and style, you should definitely take a look at the new Nissan Altima, and I'll see you next time.